Who would prefer to be here rather than here? All right. Maybe, maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. Tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about how I fuse the volunteer work I do for emergency architects with my everyday job here, running my own business. Um, and in the process, a bit of this sort of stuff, in the process, hopefully, hopefully get to you to a point where you might be able to decide, not make, you might not have to decide either or, but you can have both. Um, and uh, a little bit less of uh, this. Hopefully your job isn't as boring as this, but uh, a little bit less of this. My story um, starts uh, after I finished uni and I went to the UK and worked on a whole range of uh, very commercial, very expensive projects. And for all those Gen Ys out there, um, the, the wave was long and, and good. Um, it, some banks, some shops, some clinics, some housing and even the, even the Olympic Village. Lots of wasteful... High spec, uh, sp high spec stuff. I even uh, got to sp got to design a spaceship. Didn't go anywhere, unfortunately, but uh, even got to design a spaceship. After I did all that, um, it, be it became time for a break and a little bit of a change of direction, and uh, came back to Australia. That luckily coincided with uh, well, luckily, but uh, luckily coincided with a, a, a disaster. Luckily, luckily for um, the, the good work we were able to do. Um, this was a disaster in 2007 in the Solomon Islands, which was an earthquake, earthquake and tsunami that displaced 35,000 people. The, the, the magnitude and the strength of the, the earthquake was so big that this island was completely lift up, lifted four metres out of the sea, and that's the fringe reef you see there out of the sea. It's 40 kilometres by 15 kilometre island, completely lifted up out of the sea. Um, I led the emergency response for emergency architects and uh, the first step was to look at uh, why buildings fell down. So we came up with these six details that we could teach local people. It wasn't about changing dramatically what local people did, it was just about getting a few simple things right. That led to some workshops. We trained 300 uh, village carpenters uh, over two thirds of the disaster area in 100 villages in cooperation with World Vision, the Red Cross and Caritas. That went quite well and then we were invited by the Ministry of Education to design a whole suite of school buildings that use local materials and local techniques for buildings, for building. Um, those designs were then applied to the 165 schools that were damaged or destroyed and facilitated local communities building their own school buildings. We paralleled that process mapping it and uh, folding in all the lessons learnt back into the drawings to keep ensuring that the, the drawings were as simple as possible for local people to build, but also meeting uh, some good standards. This is another interesting project where I go to the Solomon Islands every, for two weeks every six months and do some training with some communities and some monitoring, and in between they build toilets, um, really funky cool toilets, and, uh, and uh, they're, for seven, they're about 700 bucks each, so they're pretty cheap. So that's all good, but... I'm here to tell you that paradise is not all blue water and palm trees. There are lots of uh, leaf hut floors to sleep on and, uh, and uh, pit latrines to use. And after a while that gets a bit tiring and it's definitely time to come back and uh, have some finer things. And they're the conundrum, how to balance these two worlds. So two years ago I set up my own business um, as an architect and uh, set off on this journey to try and balance the two halves of my life. And well the first project was pretty obviously a splice. This is a luxury house in uh, Fiji um, using uh, local materials and local vernacular. Um, and that's the interesting thing about having two sides to your life. They both inform each other and they both uh, make each side, each side better. This, the work with EA continues. This is a, an emergency response I did last year in the Cook Islands for a cyclone. 70 of these houses have now been built. And the next slide is, uh, is the most uh, current project which is due to start in the next few week, we, weeks which is with the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, um, building water supplies for West Papuan refugees who've been living in these conditions for 25 years. Seems happy enough but uh, could be better, definitely could be better. So, um, and this is a little bit of what I have on the drawing board this week. Um, so, all this is also going on at the same time. So I'm here to tell you that, that there, is, there is an opportunity to use all the amazing skills that everyone has, even those 25 annoying people, 
and, uh, and, and use, them, use them to fuse two halves of your life together. You don't have to choose either or. You can have both. Have your cake and eat it too. And the last slide is just some happy customers. Thanks a lot. <laughs>